Right, today I'm just going to do a bit of a guided tour around uh, this IKEA Basisk that used to take uh, up to 150 watt uh, standard GLS light bulbs featured an inline dimmer but as you can see it's no longer connected this now uses 70 watt high pressure sodium or metal halide lamps I've just basically uh, built up a little ballast box I've used a standard IEC connection so if I wanted to like I've got a mercury ballast over there I need to build a box up for I can just pull this out put the mercury ballast in, change the lamp over and then I've got mercury lamps I'll give you a look inside that in a minute what drew me to this lamp was uh, when I walked past it I thought to myself if you squint it looks like a Thorn Gamma 6 have a look inside here now an American made 70 watt Osram metal halide with a protected arc tube so when it goes bang it won't send red hot bits of glass flying at a great rate of knots the, as you can see it's rated for 150 watt max but I don't think they had head lamps in mind <laughs> let's fire it up anyway Starts off green, but when the metal salts inside vaporise, it turns to a nice bright white. Bit of bit effect there. Beautiful. When it's on high pressure sodium, it doesn't have to look cool. Pretty quiet fan on this as well. Keeps it nice and cool. I know where uh, some people might comment that having these is dangerous because there is the capability to bypass this ballast and put mains straight to the lamp which will be quite unhappy when that happens but as this is in my little workshop no one's going to be doing that and if they did do that then I'd get a nice bang to teach them a lesson it's been on now for a bit it's fully run up uh, that 38 watt 2D isn't standing much of a chance to be honest Got the cover off now, uh, not too complicated inside. We've just got a small uh, 9 volt switch power supply for the fan. Voslo Schwab ballast. Nice German made unit, but it does run quite hot. We've got a uh, Italian made 12 microfarad capacitor, and the igniter down there is a VMK 400, I think. I think it's a VM. Uh, yeah, I think it's a VMK 400. Obviously a nice big uh, 10 amp rated switch. I really like the sound of these. There we go. Not much to it really. While we're on the subject of metal halide lamps, this is a 70 watt metal halide lamp. It's got an Edison 27 cap. It's about 6,000 lumens. Quite a nice little lamp. A bit silly however when we get this out. This is a 400 watt lamp, and you can see the size of this monster. That is a beast of a lamp. Well, even this is going to look silly because I've just won on eBay for 10 quid a 2000 watt stadium lamp. I'll be a bit excited when that arrives, but I just don't think I'll be able to power it up. I think you need a 450 in supply to run the gear. Oh well, thanks for watching. <laughs>